Hey guys and welcome back to another Duveri Max Out video. Today we are going to be looking at Trinity and whilst I know there is currently a build knocking around for Trinity which involves her energy vampire and also the synergy that it has with Marked for Death we are not going to be doing that in this video. If you want to go and have a look at that I've seen it about uh, quite a bit. If you just sort of you know go on YouTube and type in Trinity Marked for Death build I'm sure something will pop up. I think I saw Gaz put a build out for it so yeah go and have a look at those videos because we're not going to be doing it here the reason being is that unfortunately although it would be great to be able to do it we are relying on having a very good stat stick pop up in the steel path circuit for us to actually be able to use that build which obviously isn't guaranteed for us so we can't rely on it we can put it up as like an alternative if we do happen to get you know that stat stick pop up randomly and trinity but yeah, for this video, we are just going to be focusing on kind of a tanky utility kind of build. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can basically just stay alive indefinitely. Trinity's very good at staying alive. Her bless is basically a free shield gate. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all you got to say about it, really. We are going to be probably utilizing those strength decrees again, simply because I want to make the most out of range on this build, if I possibly can, as well as duration whilst sacking strength as we usually do for steel path circuit builds um and then we can use stuff like you know a baiting link and stuff like that to help us survive and deal a bit of damage obviously not as much as we perhaps could but yeah survivability is kind of the key thing here and then weapons wise i have the ball prime which we are going to be getting the incarnate adapter for i got to do that i'm also using the azima which i have recently picked up on my 300 day login reward and then uh, we are going to be using the silver and aegis prime in kind of the you know support healer tank role that trinity is i was debating on perhaps trying to farm up the latest very weapon the melee weapon which i can now not remember the name of that's also a shield and mace but i don't know if i'll have enough time to do that to be honest in this video so yeah that's that's the three that we're gonna roll with but yeah without further ado guys let's just get into it i'm probably actually gonna do the fashion frame and the weapons all in one just to reduce the amount of time i'm spending on these um so yeah we'll just crack on with it guys and i will see you in a second once we have a build all right guys so everything is leveled up and we have done our fashion frame if we take a look at our trinity build here i landed on a bit, bit of a weird build i have actually removed energy vampire completely from this build uh reason being i just don't think i'm going to be using it i want I want to be like completely invincible for this so I am going to be making use of shield gating and also link and also well of life to stop status procs and also yeah blessing. I put champion's blessing on as well to give us some extra crit chance on our primary and secondary which should be nice but obviously it's percentage health like healed up to 350%. Um, I don't actually know how that works if it's just health or whether it applies to your shield as well I'm not sure. But either way, you know, I couldn't think of anything else to put there really. So yeah, that's that's just what I've I've left it on. It is solely reliant on us getting that strength from armor decree. And I've put on Stand United. Uh, obviously, Trinity comes with a standard depolarity for her aura. And this actually nudges us just over 450. Which, obviously, if you remember, that strength decree applies every 50 armor. So getting us over 450, we've got nine lots of, you know... 10% or whatever it is, 15% at max already, just at base. And then we've got Guardian on here just to boost that even further and then Energize as well for the energy. Adaptation for just surviving forever. Um, probably not necessary again, but I just want to literally not die here. Uh, so I think using Blessing combined with everything else, Nourish as well for some viral procs is going to allow us to just basically live forever. We can Shield Gate if we want to. Should be crazy. Not dying, that is. But damage output is just going to rely solely on us getting that decree. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, Ball Prime. Oh, actually, I should mention I've got some uh, leftover Archon Shards, which I've just thrown on here. So I've got Casting Speed, and then I've got two extra on Armor. That's how we've got our Armor up so high to begin with. Um, and then, yeah, three on Casting Speed. Uh, the Ball Prime. Very meaty weapon now. Uh, we've got ourselves the plus 20% crit chance and crit damage evolution on the fourth here. Then we've got increased accuracy by 50% and increased punch through by four with armor over 450 with that extra plus 16 damage. So yeah, Ball Prime at the moment, bit of a monster. Still five dot Riven disposition, so it can absolutely mow down enemies. This is probably not going to stay as it is. Uh, and it could see a change in the next update. We'll see. 
But yeah, basically just built for joint, crit, and status. We've gone for the max out multi shot on the un evolve or the non incarnon form. So we've got 21.6 multi shot right here, critical deceleration, and primed point blank with galvanized hell, galvanized savvy, primed ravage. 260 60 mods for a total of 105% crit chance and 5.2 times multiplier. And then uh, on the incarnon form, we get 120% crit chance and 5.7 times multiplier so it's an absolute beast i couldn't think of anything to put on this side bit to be honest so i've just left it as fatal acceleration because there was already an r polarity there so or y polarity sorry um asthma pretty crap weapon unless you're using it secondary fire for utility purposes which we are probably not going to be doing uh but yeah again i've just built for a bit of joint crit and stat it's not really useful on either the stats are very low so yeah this isn't really going to help us whatsoever but you know i just got it so i thought i'd go ahead and max it out for the sake of perhaps using it for utility in the future and then the silver and aegis right here pretty standard build again just uh crit and also i've put condition overload on this build because it does come with stat heat as like standard built in so we've managed to get viral and heat on here and yeah it should be should be pretty good i think it's got a fun little uh attack combo the silver and aegis so we can try and make use of that i also just like holding down you know aim meleeing and just flying forward that's always quite fun um so yeah looking forward to using that as well in terms of our appearance this is the trinity knightess skin i think it's probably the best one for her to be honest and then the attachments we have on we have the tanukai shoulder plates protevere leg plates for that little bit of animation that i like to get on my frames and also protevere chest armor that's also in combination with the valorum prime sigil on the front and then the cyandana on the back i've actually gone with the radius cyandana i think it works quite well it just fits in with the the, me the metallic theme that we have going here so yeah i thought that was uh that was pretty good um so yeah that's kind of it guys let's just hop in and test out the weapons real quick and then we'll get into the gameplay all right guys so new simulacrum arena the ballroom uh, which i've just managed to get hold of very nice let's go ahead and test out our ball prime so we'll go ahead and get our incarnon form up although we did actually do a fair amount of damage just on normal mode there so that's quite nice but i'm hoping that this should just kind of melt targets after a while. I say after a while, very literally, because it will take a while. But I think as soon as it kind of kills one, this is the problem, you need to take one out to begin with, and then once that one is dead, they should all start dying because of the multi-shot and also primary merciless coming into effect. But now you can see as well that the primary fire is doing or non-evolved fire is doing some work as well so yeah pretty good if you can get a riven mod for it you know a crit chance one especially then it is an absolute monster let's take a look at the azima again this is going to be absolutely garbage might be able to get some uh, some slash procs off but other than that not really going to help us out all that much just about to take down a single target it's secondary fire basically launches a disc which is gonna like you know fling projectiles in all directions um now that can apply slash procs to targets and it can also take down nullifier bubbles as well so it does have utility to it but yeah for what we're looking at doing it's really not going to help out and then of course our if i got anomaly on yes i do our um melee silver and aegis not going to do all that much at this point. But we can always, you know, throw our shield and dash forward like so. But yeah, you can see it's done like basically nothing here. We're going to need decrees to boost this thing's damage up against steel path targets. Not doing a whole lot. But, you know, once armor is stripped, this thing would probably do some heftier damage yep <laughs> so not bad but yeah let's go ahead and test it out in the actual steel path circuit guys all right guys so we got our trinity here unfortunately our weapons don't seem to be all that inspiring but i do actually have the dera over there which i did make a build for a while back before i even started doing these max out episodes we do have a ribbon for it but we do not have the um What's it called? Uh, man, I can't remember now. The primary Merciless. The Arcane Adapter for it, which is a bit unfortunate, but, you know, 
What can you do? Uh, let's take the course assist. Why not? In fact, let's just check. We've got a semi-okay build there. Uh, okay. We want to be building for as much status damage. That's very tempting. But maybe not. Uh, huh. We can go with that for now, I think. That'll do. Uh, let me just check that this is... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not a good build. But that is. Cool. All right, then. Let's see how far we can get, guys. I'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys. We're on the survival second round. Uh, as in, you know, the second time round. And Sod's Law. I haven't had a single decree for the uh, strength from armor. Usually I would have maxed it out by now, uh, but obviously when we want to run a build that doesn't, or is like totally reliant on it, we don't get it, similarly to Saren. However, that being said, even with the reduced strength, we are still very tanky actually, surprisingly tanky considering, you know, how little damage resistance we are getting from Bless. Let's see, do we get any here? No. I don't know what to do, guys. I just don't know what to do. But, anyway, let's uh, kind of just demonstrate what's happening here, because the kind of status craziness that goes on during this actually physically breaks my computer. So I can use Magus Anomaly to kind of pull everyone in. And then they instantly take about a million cold stat-like procs. And I mean, I could just leave them, and after a while they would just die to heat damage very quickly. I could use my uh, Unairu's armor strip, and then they all die very quickly, as you can see. Um, so, so, you know, I don't actually need weapons, and my Derivandal is really not doing a lot of damage right now at all. Which is kind of upsetting, to be honest. I was hoping it would do a bit more. I guess every now and then it does a fair bit. But yeah, like against some of these guys, it is just doing absolutely nothing. The Zymos, on the other hand, because obviously we, we are just going like full status crazy right now. Is, uh, yeah. I can kind of just fire one shot of the Zymos and the status effects. Oh, I was not paying attention right there. That's fine. Yeah, the status effects just go completely mental. Like, my screen's going blurry because my my brand new, very expensive CPU cannot handle everything that is going on. Uh, I can also use my melee if I want to. That also clears them out very quickly. So, you know, as everything goes, you know, survivability damage it's actually pretty decent and i haven't got that you know that damage decree yet either which is crazy if i had the damage decree here this would be unbelievable uh, the damage output would be quite ridiculous i think which is good to know a baiting link also is actually helping quite a lot well not baiting link, sorry but just link I was actually thinking of putting a baiting link on, which is what I was going to say after this, um, because the method we're using here where we actually don't have the, um, you know, we don't have those armor to strength decrees on the go, a baiting link will probably be very good because of obviously the armor strip, and targets are catching fire due to other decrees I have. They take more damage from, you know, having cold status props as well. It's, it's not too bad at all. Um, much better than I was expecting, actually. And yeah, I am pretty tanky. You know, if you want, you can shield gate as well. Haven't had too much trouble with uh, energy efficiency either. I have one decree for energy efficiency, and that's it. Seems to have kept up all right but 
But uh, if you look at some of these enemies, the amount of, um, you know, status effects they've got on them. 200 to 300 heat stats, full viral, full cold, everything. You know, they don't stand a chance. And it is breaking my computer, so I'll probably uh, come out after this round. I'm running out of time anyway, so yeah, it'll be good to just round off here. Stuff just dies. <laughs> oh. But yeah, we have just literally prioritized all decrees that give us, you know, additional status damage. Close Contagion is obviously very, very useful as well, if you can get your hands on it. But yeah, we'll come out there. I don't want to do Excavation again. Takes too long. Very boring. But yeah, let's uh, do a quick round off, guys. All right, guys. So once again, very disappointing that we didn't manage to get the decrees we wanted for the extra strength. Seems like every time we do do a build that's going to, you know, utilize that. Bar Octavia last week, obviously, that we don't we don't get them. <laughs> kind of sad. Maybe I'll recall something in the future where we do get it on this build because, to be honest, it did actually feel very, very good. You know, I didn't even really need to use my weapons to get kills, which is always nice. And I'll potentially try out something maybe other than... I might try something other than Nourish as well on the build. And like I said, you could probably run a baiting link on this as well if you want to reduce the armor of the enemies that you're tethered to. Especially if you're using Magus Anomaly like I was to pull enemies in towards you. Because if you've got the heat damage proc, you know, the decree for that... It's going to just kill them without you having to do anything. And yeah, Close Contagion means that all of your all of your status effects are going to spread. You can also get a, a, a decree that's going to give you double status damage, which is nice. There's just so much you can do with it. And Trinity is just so tanky, she can just deal with it like instantly. The Link is obviously going to help, especially running Nourish there as well. Because any enemies that hit us, they take damage. They take Viral like a million times instantly. So it's actually quite funny. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think, how you like to play Trinity on Steel Path Circuit, whether you do use that nuke build uh, and just pray kind of that you get some kind of viral damaging ability or viral damaging weapon. And yeah, we'll just round out the video there. If you do have any suggestions for future frames or weapons, bear in mind again, I am only doing primes at the moment. Do leave those down in the comments below. I'd be happy to have a look at them and give them a try. Otherwise, guys, I will end the episode here and I will see you in the next one.